Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can display images for a selected color variant. So for example, I am selecting a white color. Only white color images should be displayed on my product page. The other colors should be hided. So in the same way, if I am selecting black color, only black images should be displayed. This video is specific for Berlin theme. So let me show you how you can do it yourself. I have already written a blog post. So you can follow that blog post along with this video. So here is the documentation. The first step is like update all text of images in gallery for each product so you need to go to the dashboard here you should click on products i am testing this feature on uh, this product so for example i ca i can see that here we have color variant which are white gray black mix so all are having uh, main images uploaded and th all the other images are displayed in the gallery so for example i am selecting this image you can see that all text is not filled so i have to see which all text should be added so this is white color so i am going to copy this white color and paste it inside of this all text and then click on save so in the same way we have this one i am going to put the all text for this one also as a white and here also but for other images i already put for example this one is black so i have already added that uh, color variant so for this one i have added the mix so in the same way this is gray so you have to add all text for each single image into your gallery so once you are done then you can uh, go back to the documentation go to snippets open main dash product dot liquid so you should go to the dashboard again click on online store here you can see that i have installed berlin theme click on these three dots click on edit code and here you should search main dash product so you can see that we have main dash product dot liquid and inside of it we need to find this uh, class name product underscore underscore media dash sub items so i am going to search here using control f or maybe command f so you can see that this is highlighted here so this is a div tag inside of this div opening tag i am going to paste one code which is this one so you should copy it and paste it right here and one more step is that we need to paste this code inside of uh, the product media sub item which is just below it so let me show you here you can see that this is another div inside of this div we are going to paste this code so i'm going to paste it right here and then click on save once you are done then you should go to the third step which is open global.js so you should search here global.js open global.js and here we have to search on variant change so you should use control f or maybe command f and it will be highlighted here so inside of it we are going to call this function this dot filter image variant so where we have to put it just above if condition you can see that we have if condition just above this line we are going to call this function and the definition of that function is this one we are going to paste this definition after this function so this function is on variant change function is starting from here and ending at uh, this curly brace so after that we are going to define that new function which we have for the uh, latest code and then click on save once the changes are saved then you should uh, also comment one more uh, line which is this one so i'm going to copy this and using control f it will be highlighted so you can see that this line we are going to comment you should use double forward slash and it will be commented and then click on save then you should go to the main product page so you should refresh it back and here we go now you can see that we have only the selected images here for example i am selecting gray i am selecting black mix so only those specific images are displaying so if we are clicking on black only black images are displaying if we are clicking on mix gray white so all the uh, selected color images are displaying so that's how you can implement this feature into your store if you stuck somewhere or you have any problem then definitely you can contact me i will help you out in that so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel thank you once again see you in the next video